Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris Gramiccioni, and I'm the Monmouth County Prosecutor. Today, I'm proud to announce the complete dismantling of a major drug trafficking ring that was operating between Neptune Township and the city of Orange in Essex County. As a result of a five-month-long investigation dubbed Operation Undertow, four individuals were charged with a host of criminal offenses, including first degree, possession with intent to distribute narcotics, second degree, conspiracy to distribute narcotics, and third degree, possession of narcotics. The drugs that are alleged to have been involved with this drug trafficking ring are large quantities of cocaine and heroin. The four individuals charged were Curry and Grasty and Marlo Taylor, both from Neptune Township, as well as Terrence Wright of Orange, each of whom were arrested and charged over the past several days without incident. Each of these defendants have been detained at the Monmouth County Correctional Institute pending their criminal trials. A fourth conspirator, Timothy Guest of Swedesboro, was also charged, but for now he remains a fugitive. Grasty was also charged with three second-degree weapons-related offenses, as well as a third-degree receipt of stolen property count. Our investigation revealed that these defendants were running a major drug trafficking organization that was moving in excess of one kilogram of cocaine weekly, as well as more than 200 bricks of heroin. A brick is made up of roughly 50 bags or 50 doses of heroin, so that's estimated to be more than 10,000 bags of heroin weekly. The street profits that were estimated to have been made in this investigation easily exceed $250,000 per week. Now to provide some context as to the weight or the gravity of the seizures that were made in this investigation, this is an example of a kilogram of cocaine. Now this is not evidence, this is a mock or a sham kilogram that we use just for visual aid purposes. This would have an estimated street value of at least forty dollars to $50,000 and dealers would break this up into smaller amounts to distribute to other dealers and other users that are operating across the state of New Jersey. Similarly, when it comes to the bags or the bricks of heroin that we seized, this is a sham or a mock example of 50, or one brick, which is made up of 50 bags of heroin. In this case, we seized more than 6,000 bags of heroin, so naturally sev several of these bricks and we estimate that this conspiracy was moving at least a kilogram of cocaine and more than 200 bricks of heroin on a near weekly basis. Now, The estimated street value of the actual narcotics we seized in this case well exceeds over $300,000. It's important for me to give great credit where credit is due and that starts with the law enforcement investigators and officers that participated in this exhaustive investigation over the last five months. Yet with all these efforts, sadly, there will still be people that seek to profit from the addictions of those struggling with substance abuse. As long as criminals operate like this in the shadows, there will be dedicated law enforcement working hard to bring them to justice, wherever they may be. As the top law enforcement officer in Monmouth County, I want our residents to be assured that the collective efforts of law enforcement across the spectrum will not let up. We'll continue to be out there on the streets 24-7 to keep this poison off of our streets and out of our communities. Thank you for your time and attention and please stay tuned to further updates not just in this case but in other case matters developing in Monmouth County.